Happy Monday and welcome back. I'm going to be talking about the top storage unit in the country at auction for this week and give you an update on last week's featured auction in Mesa, Arizona at the end of this video. So today we are headed to El Cajon, California for a packed 10 by 35. Let's dive in. The facility for this week has uploaded 11 photos and says the unit contains collectibles, boxes, couches, and shelves. So I'm going to pull up picture number one and the first thing I see is Teddy Scares Series 2. I'm not very familiar with this so I hopped on eBay, looked at the sold comps, and it kind of gives me a general idea of what these teddy bears are worth. It appears this box holds six in total. So you can do the math there. There's a couple bucks right here in the first photo. Photo number two is not helpful at all. All I see are some out of focus boxes and the back of a couch that appears like it was on that 70s show. So I'm moving to photo number three. Three. In photo three, I can see a bunch of stacked RC2 boxes. I looked up the item numbers that are on these boxes and it appears that these ones are die cast motorcycles. So item number 37189 is an Orange County Chopper's bike. 37168 is again Orange County Chopper. 79186 is the American Chopper Christmas bike. After looking at recent sold comps on eBay, I would average out each one of these pieces at around $15 a piece. So you can do quick math on that one. There's a couple bucks there. Over to the right, behind what looks like a shelf, there is a Dark Horse Comics box. It says it has the Hellboy PVC set times 20. It is either the three piece set, which sells for around $24 a piece, or the seven piece set. I didn't see any recent sales. However, there are a bunch listed over $100. So if in fact there are 20 of these seven piece sets in there, you're talking about $2,000 potentially in one box. Photo four shows us just how deep these RC2 boxes are stacked on the right. It it also shows us more RC2 boxes on the left. However, this time it appears that these RC2 boxes contain Halo 2 figures. Originally, you could buy this box for $100 online to resell. I went on eBay. I couldn't find these specific figures, but if you look at recent sold comps, you can kind of get a general idea of how much these boxes are worth. Here, it looks like a Captain America figure in the back, as well as more shelving with more boxes. It is too dark to see what might be in those boxes. I can't quite make out the names, but you get a general idea of just how many boxes are in the back. On the right side of this storage unit, there are some Kotobukiya boxes that are stored on their side. I see two boxes. I looked up the item numbers on these, so the PP625 appears to be the Forte the Devoted figure. On eBay, these sell for over $200 a piece if they're brand new, and there's four of them in there. Next, we have the SW130. That is the Artifacts Boba Fett Cloud City. Those sell for whatever you price them at. And anywhere from $65 to $100 in brand new condition. I'm going to go ahead and assume that these are brand new. It appears the boxes are still sealed. Scrolling through the rest of the photos, you can see it's just a bunch of boxes. If you take the time and look up the item numbers, you can, you can find what most of these are. On the left here, it appears there's some adult swim boxes. I couldn't see an item number, so I don't know what they are. Um, your guess is as good as mine. So let's take it all in and talk about it. Again, this is a 10 by 35. It is full of boxes. I think that this is a store that potentially went out of business. I do think that a lot of the things inside of these boxes are brand new. So this is kind of a goldmine for any reseller. I wouldn't suggest this for a private collector because you could fill up an entire house with what is inside of this storage unit. It is currently at $8,010. It does end in two days. You know, my guess is first, I do think that this 
this um, unit will sell at auction. I don't think it's going to be pulled. I also think it's going to sell somewhere in the range of 16,000. So we're going to go ahead and double what it's currently at. I will, of course, update you next week. But let's go ahead and flash back, as promised, to a last week's featured auction in Mesa, Arizona. When I ended the video last week for this 20 by 20, it was at 10,020. This unit was full of World War II uniforms, hats, and all the things. So did it actually sell? Nope. This auction ended early. The owner must have yet again paid their bill. If you remember, I did say I had seen this unit before and I didn't think it was the last time I was going to see it. So I think it'll come back again. Do I think it'll sell then? Who knows? You know, typically you'll see these things cycle through six, seven times before either the owner empties the storage unit or it actually does complete the sale. So I will update you on this week's top storage unit next Monday and bring you that week's top storage unit at auction. So make sure that you come back. Thank you for your support. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you on Monday. Bye.